Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 10, so it's coming up in just two days' time from now. So get hyped for that, we've been talking about this episode for a long while now, and we've got a lot to break down in this video. We've got our first look at Nicole Maines in her superhero suit, that obviously being Nia, and we have the Supergirl Extended trailer, and we've got some news in regards to Windshot and later this season. Okay, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So let's first talk about Nicole Maines' new poster that they just released for Nia Now as Dreamer, and holy shit, this looks awesome. As you know, I'm not like the biggest Nia fan right now, I think she's good, but this suit is incredible, I love the colour scheme, I love this poster and her powers and the effects they use, and I just think it looks stunning. This really, really, really pops, and this sells it so much to me, like, I was always questioning whether she's going to be looking that cool as a superhero or if she's going to work and this just gives me so much more confidence because I just love this colour scheme, the blue on the white, her mask and the fact that the suit is sort of like chiselled around her and the fact that the shades of blue actually changes and it has this really nice pattern in the middle and this is an amazing poster, really sells it. How excited are you about this? I think this suit looks absolutely freaking awesome, I can't wait. Let's move on because we've got a lot to talk about in this video and so we're going to talk about Jeremy Jordan and the new news before we go to the extended trailer for episode 10. Okay, so recently Entertainment Weekly, I think it was just today, they did an interview and we talked to, and they talked about Jeremy Jordan and this is what they had to say. We love Jeremy Jordan, we love Wynn, it's like in terms of our storytelling, something we'd like to do at the beginning of next season as opposed to this season, as we have a lot of stories that coincided with his availability at the end of the play. We don't want to short shrift Jeremy or the character, so we think it's something better served in season 5. First off, this gives confidence that we're gonna get season 5, but second of all, what the fuck? The showrunners literally said at the start of the season, at the end of the season, when they released all that information that Monel was going, and that Jeremy wouldn't be in the season, he would be a recurring character. They said, oh, we've planned out a big story arc for him at the start of the season. He's going to come and, you know, be in those first few episodes, and then he's going to have an arc later in the season. Shut up. Like, what is going on? Literally. Like, can we can't trust anyone right now. We can't trust these showrunners. We can't trust Jessica Queller and Robert Rovner. If you remember a while ago, we had that Jessica Queller quote, that was Monel is not leaving, and then suddenly they put out a report that, oh, we only decided to have him for two seasons, and that was the arc. And now we have this, they're like, oh, we're going to have all of this in season four with Jeremy returning. Yeah, if it's to do with Jeremy, that's fine. But the fact that they said they had story and they can't pull that off, what is going on? It just feels like they didn't actually have a true story for him in this season. So I'm really, really upset about this, and yeah, I'm totally fine with Jeremy if he's super busy on Broadway right now. I wish him all the best. I really do want to see it, but I went to see Melissa this year, so that's a lot of money to go back. But I love Wynn, and I'm really, really, really missing him. Let me know if you are in the comments down below. I know a lot of you guys are, and so it just feels like they're kind of just dragging him and his name along because like what story did they actually have for him in this season and maybe it is better served in season 5 as they will say it's just the fact that they confirmed and they said he was set to recur and that they had stories already that they were going to play out and nothing has materialized but you know i wish him all the best in broadway and hopefully he returns a lot next season that's just keeping my fingers crossed okay so now we're going to move on and talk about the extended trailer for episode 10 and so the trailer we're going to be breaking it down shot by shot we first start off with brainiac talking to jean in this room or this place like maybe it's a house maybe it's jean's house i can't entirely be 100% certain on that but they are talking together and they need to talk about Supergirl and I think this is mainly to do with 
her relations to the DEO because obviously Brainy works there right now and so it's going to be to do with maybe Jean trying to help Supergirl or do it in a different way, try and stop her from doing something or something along those lines. And we move on to the next shot and the next shot is inside the DEO with what looks like one of the aliens has escaped and this alien we see recurring throughout the episode and I have no idea what it is but it looks like the alien is invisible. I don't really remember an alien that looked like this that was invisible, but she uses freeze breath a lot of the time here, so we can see the outline of it, so it's not just invisible. But we see Haley is attacked, and Supergirl saves her, and I think this is later in the episode, and I think this is the point where Haley's probably going to sort of lay off on Supergirl. But we move on to the next shot and we see this invisible alien once again dragging this military guy. We see Supergirl and Supergirl is making this, you know, shocked face because this guy has been brutally attacked and, you know, she's going to fight this literal invisible alien. That's crazy. And so we move on to the next shot and we see Alex. Kara throughout this trailer is very, very upset and very sort of stern throughout and Melissa does a good job at putting on that face. And we see a POV shot inside the DEO of this alien breaking out, you know, destroying and brutally attacking these DEO agents. And I do like the POV shot as well. And so we go to that scene after the brutal attack has happened on this sort of military place where all these military people are. I forgot exactly where they said it was going to be. But we see Supergirl with Haley, and this is the point in the synopsis that they talk about that Haley makes it DEO ground, so technically it's illegal if Supergirl stays there because she needs authority and she needs that access, and she won't have that, so technically they could arrest her. And so in this speech, Kara talks to Haley, and she talks about even though she's not working with the DEO, she's still going to be Supergirl, and you know, Haley really, really just dislikes her right now. And so moving on to the next shot, I love this. This is probably one of my favorites in this trailer. We see Alex and Kara working together again in this sort of rural setting. And obviously it's going to be kind of risky for Alex working with Supergirl because Haley's so much at odds with her right now. And she's a DEO agent working with an outside source, that being Supergirl. So I think that's going to maybe bite her in the ass later. We'll have to wait and see. But we see the same shot. It swings around and we see... Supergirl using her freeze breath once again on this invisible alien and we get like a reaction shot where she's sort of just shocked so maybe she's killed it maybe it's just like incapacitated or something else is happening and so we go to the DEO and we get various shots of Haley and Alex together as Haley goes around and interrogates everyone about who Supergirl is what is her identity and she is probably going to find out by the end of the episode, as the trailer suggests, which we'll talk about just in a minute. And the next shot is the iconic rip off the glasses shot, and this is in the voice overlay. And talking about Nicole Maines and talking about Nia now becoming Dreamer, this trailer reveals the suit. But the reason why I'm so much more excited about that poster was it really popped, it really got to show her actually in the suit and this is awesome i love this reveal but you know it's when it's on her that it looks so cool and my hopes are like really really high so i'm hoping she really delivers as dreamer the superhero and so also i forgot to mention prior in the trailer they mentioned this alien is the most powerful alien in the world and that is a killing machine but anyway, talking about Nia again, she's with Brainy and they're at a restaurant, they're all dressed up and everything, and Brainy says, you are a hero, and then he says a few other things, and then he says, would you become a super friend? And it's like, you know, just very Brainiac, and obviously that's very meta, talking about the super friends, and so, yeah, I think we're gonna see her fully suited up in action in episode 10, that's very, very exciting, because I love that poster. Okay, so moving on to the next shot, we see them all in an office, and this is Kara, Alex, Jean, and Brainy, and this is the same scene that we see later in the trailer when Kara's breaking down. And so they talk about Supergirl's identity, and we get this shot of her smiling in the sky, and we get like a bomb shot, and then it goes on to a shot of Alex with supposedly Haley. I can't really exactly make it out because it's just a shoulder shot, and Alex says, why are you covering this up? So... Haley's done something and something has gone on and Alex is very very frustrated and then we get a shot inside the car I don't know whose car this is but 
we see John smacking it and it flips over and we go to that specific scene that I was talking about with Kara breaking down in that very same place and saying the reason I became Supergirl was to save you and you know that's just so touching and so sad I love that and really looking forward to these scenes with Alex and Jean and everyone in this episode and then we get a action scene with those guys in the white that we saw in the photos the other day and so you know maybe some cult thing going on right there but we see an agent of liberty and he's getting punched by Supergirl and we get a few more reaction shots of Supergirl and Alex as they you know wow what's going on right here and the final shot of the trailer is kind of jaw dropping and this is of Haley and Cara Danvers as she says Cara Danvers's life is over so she found out that she is Cara Danvers she could expose her I think by the end of the episode I don't think they're going to reveal it to like the whole public but she's gonna know and wow so I'm really looking forward to this episode a lot more just from today from seeing this extended trailer and seeing that awesome near now poster so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later goodbye